Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. Got some red coming in today again. VIX up uh, five and three quarters percent. Everything kind of kind of spiked up here within the last couple hours. So not not good times for the market right now. So the Dow is falling based on treasury yield jumps to uh, multi-year highs. Dow is down 143, NASDAQ down 110, S&P down 25. Up to four DLR, the recording accessible? Yes. Um believe you can find them on our website there's a link to past recordings of live streams and some funky's going on with baba like spiked up and came back down Most stocks are flat to in the red. NVIDIA, the only one I see green. Bell is wrong. Tesla down about one and a half percent, Airbnb down two and a half percent, Baba down two percent. Some of the weaker stocks, MU down a percent, PayPal down a percent. Boeing in the green. So my my guess is we'll see some more downside today. VIX up over 6% now.
So some stocks pushing up, some are not. We're pushing down, some pushing up. Boeing up one and a quarter percent. Our second bar here now, so we'll have to see how things go. See if we get any volume. You see any stocks getting good volume? Feel free to post it in the Discord. <clears throat> NVIDIA up a third of a percent, Boeing up one and a half. NVIDIA pushing up here. Again, we're looking for volume runners to start off here. Looking for this second volume bar to be bigger than the first and in the same direction. Intel over halfway there. Push through yesterday's high. <clears throat> Except six percent.
NVIDIA getting close. So MU getting close. So weak market, but getting some uh, potential upside volume runners. That's interesting. So Intel and, and MU definitely going to get there. And today we trade the uh Is it the 4 DTE? It should be 3 DTE, shouldn't it? So M MU is almost all already there. So we'll look for a little pullback in MU. It's really pushing up, though, right now. Yeah, Intel already there as well. NVIDIA flipped red. Tesla didn't quite get there. So MU and Intel, we'll see if they pull back at all. And yes, it's the three DTE today. <laughs> MU, I would trade the 68 calls. Intel pulling back a little bit, so let me check that out. Oh, man. It's really cheap. Yeah, skip Intel. I was kind of wanting you to pull back right down to this pivot, get in there, and then watch it bounce. So MUO would trade the 68 calls. Try to jump in here. At a dollar ten. Go to a dollar fourteen. So I adjusted it just a little bit. For some mighty 90s here as well. I would close half my MU at $1.25. Just going to put that in in case I'm not looking at it. <laughs> Amazon pushing through lows. Morning, Bumblebee. Build it a dollar twenty five, close half of it, close half of MU. Thank you, MU. Don't really get many upside volume runners here in a weak market, but
I will take it. Get rid of another MU at a dollar thirty five. A lot of stair stepping down in volume. I don't like seeing that because it doesn't give us good, doesn't give us anything to trade. Still a dollar thirty five. Close a quarter of MU. So upside volume runner MU is acting as it should. At third bar, when you get the third volume bar, I'm really looking for a good mighty 90. Looks like DK and G is going to get one, but you want to you want to wait for price to push all the way down and get it down low here. Uh, if you want uh, something with cheap pri uh, option prices. Intel, another, another big bar. I didn't get in that because the options were under a dollar. So not really seeing any good mighty 90s. I mean, Amazon was a little bit higher, but I like to see a different, I like to see more separation there. ENG is certainly good looking at mighty 90 there. If you can get it right down here. I close another quarter by MU at $1.45. Let's put that in, in case I'm not watching it. Target, nice push up. Now it's pausing. Keep an eye on that potentially for upside continuation runner. Vix up 5%, so it's definitely come down. Build at a dollar forty five. Close another quarter of MU. Check Amazon and toss. See if it's got a see if that mighty nineties how it looks in toss. Yeah, not much separation there. So Man, and he's staying strong. Close another MU, another quarter. At a dollar sixty. Let's just try to get out a couple more here. Go to a dollar fifty seven. Well, so I got four MUs left. Four more contracts. Really doing a nice job there with that upside. Let me a good upside volume runner like MU's doing. That's the way it's supposed to work. Man, just still nothing. 
A lot of stairs stepping down in volume. And you really pushing up. Wow. So we could have another MU here. Build it a dollar seventy to get out of another quarter. So um when I say a quarter, it really it should have been a fifth. So because um MMUs I got in for a dollar fourteen. Um I did twenty contracts. Let's think a little roughly two a little over two thousand in buying power, which is usually where I go. And so I I got out of half, which was ten, and then I started cutting it by two, 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 and I got two left. So I guess when I say a quarter quarter, it would have been a really a fifth. Yeah, that's yeah. I, I guess technically speaking, to be technically correct, it would be a f getting out of a fifth. But most of the time, uh, I'm just getting out of one contract. But because I had so many, when when you when when you got symbols that are you know a dollar, dollar five, dollar ten, dollar fifteen, you know I'm going in more contracts so. So I'm so I'm getting rid of more than one because I have so many contracts. Uh DKNG I, I saw was a mighty 90. It's not, uh for it to be a volume runner, it's gotta be bigger than the first. Whoa, Netflix. What is going on? <laughs> anybody else watching Netflix? Wow. Where a lot of stuff firing up. I'm not really sure what has happened here. MU still flying high. So I'm going to close my remaining MU. Yeah, Disney's got an upside volume runner as well. Build at 205 to close out MU. Wow. With well, the volume bar on Netflix is insane. Roku, big volume bar. So several big volume bars. I'm not sure what to think of this. It's a little abnormal. So you want to kind of be careful. Doesn't necessarily mean they're just going to continue to fire up like that. In fact, most of the time when I've seen something like this happen in Netflix, it doesn't continue to push up. But um, Roku's potential, it, it's more normal. 
So I'll look at an upside volume runner in Roku. It seems a little more normal than Netflix. Yeah, Disney definitely is an opportunity for you. See, Roku, I would trade the 70 calls. Ah. Let's see it push back down. <laughs> Missed it. So Disney coming back down though. Let's try some Disney here. 81 calls and Disney. Try to get filled with a buck 15. Filled at buck 16. It's the 81 calls in Disney. So nice pullback there. Got in right at the end of the bar. I would close half of my Disney at a dollar thirty. Trying to get out of half my Disney here. Ah, push back down. Build at a dollar twenty-seven to close half my Disney. So I'm just uh, I don't always necessarily trust that a big push like this. My Roku definitely continuing up. Apple has a little mighty ninety, but it's already coming down just a little. So where's Chris when we need him, man? What's going on? What, what's causing these uh, to spike like this? Interesting, interesting stuff here. Just have to keep a close eye on this, see if these continue or, or not. So far, no pullback in Netflix, and it's even getting gotten another just big bar. See, Roku pushed, but now it's struggling. So that's why just be cautious when you get a big spike. You're just not 100% sure that it's something that's going to continue in that direction. <clears throat> hey pal staying strong
I'm going to close a quarter of my Disney. Okay, so I'll say a fifth of my Disney at $1.40. See now Netflix bars turn red. It's kind of flipping back and forth. Yeah, see, things coming down a little bit now, so I'm going to watch Disney really close. Yeah, see, this is what you get sometimes when these things happen. So I'm just going to close my Disney. It was a buck fifteen to close Disney, so I tried it there, but it just didn't take off. So, yeah, sometimes you get these. I don't. It's, it's not normal for a spike like that, so that's why I'm extra careful. Walmart really coming down. A mighty 19 apple would have been nice. Wow. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm not in anything right now. This is uh, a little some weird stuff going on. So Amazon getting a mighty 90 long. You can kind of see this. Apple getting maybe a volume runner to the downside. So there must have been some type of report that came out today that I didn't wasn't aware of. Goog getting a nice looking mighty 90 here. Problem is, is there's still another minute left, so. These bars could get as big as the 
previous. Oh, the Jolts report. That's right. Yes, yeah, he's now everything's a downside volume runner. Apple, Amazon may get there. Square. Goog, Mighty 90 Long. Right, Blockchain, good looking Mighty 90 Long. Some crazy stuff here. I'm just gonna just gonna watch here for a second before I I like the Goog Mighty 90 long, but I'll see if it pushes down one more one more time. So Goog, try a mighty 90 here. 134 calls in Goog. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna wait on Goog now. See how it's kind of popped up. Darn it. Missed Goog. It could still come down too, though. I mean, things are so hairy right now. Yeah, we could see a we could see a flush here. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm green for the day, so really big MU winner, thank God. So I'm gonna be very careful about what I get in here. Meta's got a mighty ninety. Nice, nice looking mighty ninety there. Dick's up a little under eight percent now. Really spiking up.
So Goog coming back down. Let me try this 134 call on Goog. Trying to get filled at a buck sixty. Filled at a buck sixty three. The one thirty four calls. And Meta's got a mighty ninety as well. I could have could have just left it at dollar sixty and got filled. I'll put an order in at a dollar eighty to get rid of half my goog. It pushes up without me paying attention to it. Take a look at Meta here. It's a good looking Mighty 90 in Meta, I can tell you that. But I chose Goog. But if Meta comes down another push, I might jump in a mighty 90 there as well. All right. We'll do the 302.5 calls in Meta. Filled at 520. Real 2.5 calls. So we'll look for two green bars in a row. And I get out of half at 570. Let's go 575. 575, in case I'm not looking. So if you're just learning, like, I know there's been some questions about, like, Mighty 90s and stuff in runners. I mean, if you look at meta, I mean, see the difference in volume pop. And then this bar is not as big as the first. So same thing with Goog. So you can see how it's got a really nice separation there. And it's not as big as the first. That's what you look for. So look at like MU. So in MU, like this one, it 
it's higher than the previous one, but it's bigger than the first bar, so I wouldn't count that as a mighty 90. It's bigger than that first one. Hope that makes sense. And so, also with Mighty 90s, when I enter them, I, I always, you know, you need to know, like, what's your small, medium, large in terms of the trade you're going to place. You're going to go in small, you're going to go medium, you're going to go large. I always go in, you know, typically medium, but I, I'll make sure that I go in so that I position size to where I can add to it. So, like, Goog, it's still coming down. I may add to it. Uh, continuation runners like you're looking it's, you're looking at like price action mostly not volume so you're looking for like a pause so like a push like in one direction and then a pause and then a continued push that's basically it so i gotta decide if i want to add or just hold here We're getting a little bit of a flush. I'm at it really flushing. So I'll add to my meta. Filled at 450 to add to meta. Let me take a look at Goog now. I'll add to Goog. Build it a buck forty to add to Goog. Yeah, if I see a you don't find good continuation runners uh, and you get, you know, like look at PayPal, big push up, big push down. It's, those continuation runners happen when you can get. So for like, like today, the, the market is weak. So a downside continuation would be you get a push down and then you get just a consolidation where the price doesn't move, you know, 15, 20 minutes. It stays right where it's at and then it continues downward. So I was hoping Goog bounces off this pivot. And then hoping Meta bounces off yesterday's low. You know, sometimes when you get these big... You get news that comes out, like the Jolts report. You know, those are times you, you probably should position size a little smaller than maybe you normally do. So Target looking at producing two green bars here. So that's what we would want to see out of Meta and Goog. Sometimes with continuation runners as well, Bumblebee, you'll see like a little three bar. If it's upside continuation, you'll see a little three bar pullback and then continue. Or vice versa, downside, you'll see a little three bar bounce and then continue down.
Tesla. China produced two green bars. Boeing kind of resisted that flush there. So Meta just still staying weak. I want to see it bounce here. You know, um, I became so much better at trading mighty nineties when I, my, you know, working on my mindset, because when you add to a mighty 90, you're obviously in the red, right? Um, so you got to be able to block out the fact that you're already down. Well, by the way, I've got to order in at a buck 60 to close half of my Goog. And so not, not being able to, to block out like i'm already in the red you know and it's, i'm okay to add to it that's a big mindset piece but it has made me a lot more successful in my mighty 90s when i add to them in fact nowadays i almost look forward to adding to them get out of half my goo here hopefully Gives one little tick up. Get out. I'm gonna get out of half here. Filled it a buck sixty. Nice, nice push up there in Goog. So, so that ad was a, just a great ad in Goog. Completely turn that around for now, anyway. And look at Boeing up to highs of day. I've got an order in Meta to close half at five ten. <laughs> So Microsoft too. Okay, so we're looking at we're looking at Microsoft here. See how it's not really pushing up with some of these others. It's just having real trouble. That could be a downside continuation runner. You know, it's got this push down and it's just it's really struggling. See it. That in fact, if it was to push up a little bit more, I might keep my eye on that for a downside continuation. Yeah, I'd love to see us get two green bars and then it can roll over all at once. Yeah, see Microsoft, see how it's and that could have been a really good downside continuation here.
which you can see Netflix here, how you got this just massive bar and it doesn't continue higher. That happens a lot. Yeah, see, it would be good to jump in Microsoft there. I should have just jumped in there. Gotten short something. Meta still trying to produce one green bar. Nvidia coming down through lows of day. No green bar in Goog, even though I did get out of half. So in, in meta as well, like it, if it has like a little three bar bounce and then it could roll back over. So that's why we would get out if it gives me two green bars here. Sometimes when the market's in a in a flush type situation, it's good to just cut your, you know, get out when you can get out if you've got a little bounce or something. So I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch Meta close. I mean, if it looks like it wants to roll over, I may just cut my Mighty 90, even though it doesn't give me two green bars. Hopefully it pushes up. It's like Square's doing. That's what I'd love to see out of Goog and Meta. Or you see like uh, PayPal here. So you guys get like to see Goog and Meta get two solid green bars like that. I want to get out of half my meta here. Let Tesla push up. See, Goog's struggling a little bit. VIX is up 9.5%. Wow. So I'm probably just going to close my meta here with two green bars. I'd love to see it push back up to where it was. It was close to five bucks. I had an order to, at 510 to close. I should have just got out of half of five bucks. But I'm going to close my, got a minute left here. Go ahead and close my meta. Oh, 
push back up there. Let me close it out. And Coog's just not really going anywhere. Build a 465 to close my meta. It's just not, it's just struggling. And I'm gonna I'm gonna close my Goog too. It's just not going anywhere. It's 9:30, gonna call it a day. Not get caught up in all this. Build it a buck forty-five to close my Goog. So, but you can see Microsoft, how it's just, it's never, so Apple's kind of consolidating here. Be interesting to watch it and Amazon. So if a continuation runner, if it pushes above this, so you could get in like right now. And if it pushes above this consolidation, just close it out and it's a small loss. So it's a low risk trade. Same thing here. If it pushes above this consolidation, you, you know, you want to get short, um, then you just close it out, small loss. But if it if it then continues downward, you know, it turns into big winners. Here's meta. So a little three bar bounce. And then if, if it rolls over, you could get short meta right now. And if it pushes above this consolidation here, then you just get out of it. So, so sometimes they could be quick trades. So NVIDIA, another one. Push down, little bounce, could get short there. So hopefully that uh, makes sense for a continuation runner. So, all right, folks, I will be back Friday. You got Steve the next two days. So I will see everybody back here on Friday. Peace.